Chapter 1. Historical Antecedents in the Course of Science and Technology. So what are the learning outcomes for this chapter? 1. To explain how science and technology affected the society and environment and vice versa. 2. Identify the inventions and discoveries that changed the world over the course of history. And 3. Discuss the scientific and technological developments in the Philippines. So here again in the overview of science, technology, and society, we are going to talk about how science and technology affect the people, culture, and society, and how science and technology respond to the need of society in the past and in the contemporary time. During ancient times, the most encountered problems were the following. Just remember the acronym TC Shamar. T stands for transportation and navigation. C stands for communication. S stands for security and protection. H stands for help. A stands for architecture and engineering. M stands for mass production. A stands for aesthetic. R stands for record keeping. During ancient times, there were problems in terms of transportation and navigation. Still up to now in our country, we still have problem and difficulty in terms of transportation, especially in highly urbanized areas like Metro Manila. In the past, transportation was significantly important still up to now. People need a mode of transportation for them to be able to travel to other places to search foods if there will be no available foods on their current area and to find new places for their city if there will be danger. Also, there was problem in terms of navigations. It was very difficult for them to navigate areas because there's no ways yet in the past to direct them point to point and maps were still not highly accurate and some roads were still unavailable. Next problem encountered was communication. There were no cell phone, satellite, internet yet in the past, and there's no common language yet. But today, we have such as English, Chinese Mandarin, and Spanish. In the past, it was very difficult for them to communicate. They were using signals like light reflection, fire, smoke for them to be able to make a signal to their home base especially if there will be an upcoming danger or invaders also they use pigeon as a carrier of information as mode of communication for them to be able to deliver a message in a faster and easiest way the keep record was very difficult during ancient times they were using mud clay for them to engrave records there was also difficulty to transport each record because of its heaviness and fragileness. To increase in size and number of nations connoted increased demand for food and other basic necessities to produce foods in mass, to produce clothing in mass or other necessary things were so difficult in the past because they don't have the technology yet that we have been using today in the factory. Due to difficulty in mass production, there was also difficulty in producing weapons and armors for the safety of each nation or tribe in the world. If there will be invaders, it was very difficult for a small country or area to secure their tribes or nation. Stronger nations tended to invade weaker ones so they could take much needed resources. If a nation has a developed weapons and armors, it was considered a major achievement. To conserve life was one of the problems encountered during ancient times. Different illnesses and diseases, both natural and man-made, cannot diagnose or treat well. Because in the past, microscope to see bacteria and certain diseases was not invented yet. Certain pharmaceutical drugs were not yet discovered. Sterile technique and appropriate healthcare practice were still on the process. So science and technology played a major role in the discovery of cures to, if not the prevention of illnesses. 
architectural designs in the past were considered a major technological advancement. Most of the nations and tribes during ancient times has their own architectural design for the reason that it establishes their nation's identity. But the problem was, there's no scientific way or architectural designs that can be made in relation to highly scientific engineering. Difficulty in constructing a bigger and stronger infrastructure was observed during ancient times. Most of the people became slaves and died during ancient times for them to construct an infrastructure such as an Egyptian pyramid. There was no available technology yet to speed up, to measure and calculate things in building infrastructure. However, there were some structures built during ancient time that still exist and continually amaze people because of its man-made infrastructure. People were not contented in terms of beautifying only infrastructure and surrounding. They made it more complicated by putting some decoration on your body to make presentable and appealing, and this is called aesthetic. We were now done with the problems encountered during ancient times. Let's now proceed to the major technological contributions made by Sumerians, Babylonians, and Egyptians. Sumerians were known as very cooperative in the development of things in relation with science and technology. Babylonians were known as great builders, engineers, and architects that contributed a lot in the world. And lastly, Egyptians were known because of their infrastructure and engineering that still amaze people today. Let's now move on to their contributions. Now proceed to Sumerians' contributions. Just remember the acronym Kutis WR. C stands for Cuneiform, U stands for Uruk City, T stands for the Great Cigarette of Ur, I stands for Irrigation and Dikes, S stands for Sailboats, W stands for Rail, and R stands for Roads. Let's talk about Cuneiform. Cuneiform was the first writing system. They used wedge instrument to carve word pictures and triangular symbols on a clay. Then they left it to dry. This was used in order for them to communicate and for the purpose of record keeping. Next one is Uruk City, which was the first true city in the world. They built it using mud or clay for them to be protected from the harsh weather, wild animals, invaders for entering their territory. This was made to address the problem in safety and protection. Next, the Great Cigarette of Ur was built in the same way Uruk City was constructed. The Great Cigarette of Ur is also known as the Mountain of God. It can be compared to the churches that we have today. Next, they invented irrigation and dikes to increase mass production of foods. They also built this to bring water for farmland and to control flooding. This was invented for the purpose of mass production in terms of foods. The first mode of transportation was not wheel, but sailboat. They need this because people in the past cannot cross rivers and seas. This was invented to solve problems in sea transportation. The first wheel was made not for transportation, but to mill grains. This was invented to solve the problem in mass production in terms of food supply. Roads were invented to address the problem in terms of transportation and navigation in order to facilitate faster and easier travel, particularly to search for foods and to find better places. They built roads using sun-baked bricks. We're now done with the Sumerian contribution. Let's now proceed to Babylonian contribution. And just remember letter H. H stands for Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It was made of layers of plants, trees, and vines. However, its exact location is unknown because some said it was just a product of imagination and some said it was destroyed by war, erosion, or earthquake. Hanging Gardens of Babylon was considered as the greatest engineering 
and architectural achievement of the ancient time that is almost impossible to replicate. Let's now proceed to the Egyptian civilization. What are the Egyptian contributions? Just remember the acronym PWIC. P stands for paper or papyrus. W stands for wig. W stands for water clock or clepsydra. H stands for hieroglyphics. I stands for ink. And C stands for cosmetics. Egyptian was not the first one to develop the first writing system, but they made writing easier by developing a paper made from papyrus. Papyrus was a plant found in Egypt that grew abundantly. They made record and safekeeping and also record transportation easier because paper made from papyrus is lighter compared to cuneiform. After they developed paper from papyrus, they invented ink to be used in writing on a paper. Here, they combined different chemicals to produce an ink. Egyptian also invented a system of writing called hieroglyphics, which use symbols. It is usually seen on Egyptian pyramids. They believe that this writing system was provided to them by their gods. Egyptians also invented cosmetics, but the purpose of this was not only for aesthetic, but also in terms of health. They believe that wearing coal around the eyes can cure and prevent an eye disease. Egyptians wig was developed not for aesthetic purposes, but for health reasons. They wore it to protect their scalp from harmful rays of the sun because wealthy Egyptians shaved their heads. Also, wig was used to prevent the accumulation of head lice. Another one, they wore wig because it allows heat to escape freely rather than putting a scarf on their head. Lastly, they invented water clock or clepsydra. This device utilizes the gravity that affects water flow from one vessel to another. This was used to measure time by determining how much water remained.